What's up guys, Am Productions here, and today I have a video that most people don't do. It's just a video on the system sensor remote annunciator. So this can go for, um, I believe it says intelligent systems. I'm not sure if that means addressable or what. And then if it's conventional and you need to put a jumper, which is like over, I forget where it is. It's right here. Um, basically what it is, is an LED, they have the key switch version, um, for, I guess, testing the system, or testing a smoke detector, sorry, <laughs> but, um, yeah, you just do that. I am getting the key switch tomorrow, um, hopefully if everything goes well, at least that's what UPS said, and then this just has the alarm LED. This is meant for smoke detectors, or you can hook this up directly to the neck because it can take a certain amount of voltage um i have the manual um, right here so it has um 3.1 to 32 volts dc on um conventional systems installation of jumper required required on conventional systems intelligent systems it says um 18 to 32 volts dc do not install the jumper if you have an intelligent system uh, i don't know what this means by canadian i really don't care where it's from it works but um maximum current 10 milliamps um temperature range minus 10 degrees to 60 degrees celsius or 14 to 140 degrees fahrenheit it's not going to be that cold in here but it is fm rated i believe that means fire marshal somebody said it may mean factory made but that's pretty stupid because everything is factory made these days and I forgot to get my testing switch so that I could test the LED for you. This is hooked up to my, um, whatchamacallit, um, smoke detector, the one downstairs. I'm not sure if I can, I think that I can hook up both smoke detectors to it since it can take 32 volts. I don't know, I don't have a multimeter multimeter whatever um so i don't know the voltage that the port puts out on this maybe it's 24 volts and that 48 volts would be too much if i activated them both but okay it's activated same alarms on the system so no sneak peeks today Okay, there you can see the alarm LED comes on. This um, is just hooked up. Uh, I believe I could get this off. Okay, I'm gonna try and get this, the i3 off. Um, sorry, I have to grab a chair real quick. So, Here's audible silence. I am using system sensor sync. So this is just hooked up to the terminals right here. It says RA plus and RA minus. Um, so that's where you hook up your RA remote annunciator. Um, that's the 1100Z. I don't know what that means, but this replaces the older one, which is like the classic version, like a Spectral Alert Classic, not the Advance. Like it, the Advance replaces the classic. So this basically replaces the old classic version of that. It looks like an Advance too. It's got the curved edge. Uh, I'm not gonna go too much into that. But when I reset the system, it doesn't even look like an LED. Maybe it's not an LED, but look. See, it goes out like that. I think that's pretty cool. That's what I like about it. 
Um, I am getting the key switch um, simplex for you ninety nine ninety eight or six I think. I'm not sure if that's even a smoke detector or roll station, but um, yeah, that was it for this video, guys. It's getting really long, so peace.